I've been down for too long, man, I gotta go harder Cry for my daughter, she made me go harder I'm still at the bottom, I gotta go harder You know it, I don't came from the bottom I did shit that nobody with Nobody with And I climbed up We ask ourselves a question all the time, it's like what can we do differently to other developers to stand out? So we're a growing business, we've not got the capability or size yet to compete with the big boys. So what we do is make sure our product stands out head and shoulders above other people. We leave a lot of money on the table in the sense of we could be more profitable with a project but the design means that much to us, then we'll spend a hell of a lot more trying to gain that, that final product that takes something from good to great. And as soon as someone comes in, there's a massive wire factor. So I think last time with the last video that we posted on this line in here, straight to the top and make use of all this space we've got. You've got this hidden area up here, which is gonna be a little secret reading area with a library. And immediately, this is what we were talking about before, about having complete open aspect glass, a floor to ceiling, so you can see those incredible views of the Ribble Valley. And as soon as somebody sees that, it's going to be such a wow impact and such an emotional connection. Open plan living's really in at the moment. So instead of segregating the space with our dining room table here, with a big wall, and then another wall up the kitchen, we've done a really clever design here of segregating the space but keeping open flow and the way we've done that is by designing this herringbone flooring with a really nice bespoke edge and trim and then that goes into a different pattern but then that shows that you can use this area as a dining room table. So we've got multiple properties in this one big property and to split them up, um, a normal developer perhaps would have designed every apartment the same, thinking about the demographic that it's going to be sold to. So on a ground floor apartment, perhaps we're thinking that it might be an older person that might not want to use the stairs. So you take that story into account and you try and design just the actual product around the person that's going to use it at the end. So you've got the likes of a more traditional kitchen, still modernised and still future proof for the next 15-20 years but the actual design um, suits that demographic that's going to be looking at it. I'm trying to retain some of the original features such as this fireplace to marry up the story and the theme of the building being an 1800s old building from 1900s um, but then marrying it with a very modern uh, aesthetic. Again, instead of big developers creating spaces that are a little bit clinical, a little bit new building and boxy, this adds a story to it, this adds a feeling for people and this is what people love and this is what I love to produce. Do. It's quite inexpensive as well. It's actually put a lot of mirror on the walls. Visually, it doubles the space, it opens it up, and it bounces the light off the feature tile there. And it just gives that bigger impression of space. Lighting is so important, whether it's for mood lighting or to create a really nice living space. We try to achieve that by, again, bringing this stonework on the inside so it's a real nice product that you can touch and feel, but then highlighting it with the spotlights that we've done above. And you can see the way we've positioned them is actually to push out a cone of light above every piece of stone. Um, and it really adds a nice visual effect on that. It's really important for us to control the quality of the building as you come to it from the front. And again, that means us leaving more money on the table, but getting the design right. And from the front, every apartment has got the shutters that just represent uh, a feel of quality and just one single theme instead of being split up into four. Try and observe the masses and 
do the opposite, whether that's design-wise, how we develop stuff. You try and look at other products in the area um, and say, okay, well, they're selling for this much. Can we sell it for the same or design it better? These are all the original beams that we've left into this penthouse apartment. So you can tell the original age of the building. There's a story there. Again, there's that other level of quality that you don't expect with a new build that we've retained into this development. Like mainly, it's something that we're so, 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 so proud of doing because the market's flooded with other developers that are just popping up very poorly built houses, very quick timber frame things. Whereas we like to try and create a, a solid product that's going to last a long time, but has that story inside about the quality and the story that it tells and the feeling that it gives people when they're living in spaces like this.